<laughs> Can I take it off? No, not yet. Understand. There is no surprise. Sure, there is. Captain, we got the prelim uh, on that fire from the hair outlet. Looks like arson. That's what I thought. Uh, the question is, why would anybody torch a wig factory? Does anybody have a motive? Probably the owner for the insurance. Yeah, that's an interesting theory, Randy, but uh, the, uh, the guy's dead, right? He died in the fire. Right. Forgot that. Commissioner! Commissioner! Is there a suspect in the torso murder? We're working on the case 24-7. It's our number one priority. Can you identify the torso? She's female, Caucasian. That's all we know. The medical examiner will be issuing his own report in the morning. Do you have any new leads? <laughs> the investigation's at a critical stage right now, and I don't want to do anything or say anything that might compromise it. But I will say this. We're going to find the monster who did this. And when we do, I can personally guarantee that he'll be taken off the streets forever. That's it for today. How about a moment, sir? You, wake up, let's go! What the hell? Don't just stand here and do something! Somebody stop that guy! She's at least 26. She was raised in one of the Baltic states, Estonia, or Latvia, probably Lithuania. Anything else? No, that, that's it. Except the killer was a mountain climber, very experienced, and uh, he was left-handed. You can tell all of that from this. Well, that scar on her upper arm is from a smallpox vaccination. It was common in the Baltic states. They stopped vaccinating in 1978. She had to have been born before then. What about mountain climber? The fiber rope and the knot. I believe it's called a Prusik knot. Mountain climbers use it. And it's tied with the top loop uh, facing right. So, of course, it's left-handed. I think we ID'd the torso. We got a report of a missing person. Her name is Larissa Zeryeva, 29 years old. Guess where she's from? Uh, one of the Baltic states. Which Baltic state? Uh, Estonia. Latvia. Lithuania. Lithuania. Now, is there a DNA match? No, that's the problem. We've got plenty of DNA from the torso, but we've got nothing to match it against. We can't find a sample from the missing girl. Okay, well, who filed this report? Uh, Ellen Harley. Zareva was her housekeeper. Get this. Mrs. Harley is sure that her ex-husband, Paul, is somehow involved in the disappearance. And guess what Paul was doing last summer? Lieutenant, I'm not guessing anymore. He was climbing Mount McKinley. He's a mountain climber. Monk nailed it. You and Monk. This is very uh, entertaining, Captain, but really, I got to get back to work. So much longer are you going to be? As long as it takes, Mr. Harley. She's not here. And for the 500th time, we had a fight. She left, she went home. You killed her. Who says? Mac's wife? <laughs> Larissa Zarieva is alive and well. She called me three days ago from Paris, check my phone records. We already did. Somebody called you from the Paris airport, but it wasn't her. Captain Monk's here. He's where? He's outside in the garage. What's he doing here? I don't know, he's Monk. Excuse me, Cap. You know, they're cutting up my carpet in there, and that's imported shag, man. Am I going to get reimbursed for that? Why don't you file a complaint with the county clerk? You killed her in here, didn't you? I know you. You're that detective monk. Yeah, I've seen on the news, man. I've seen your work, too. On the table, in a forensics lab. Did you cut her up in here, too? I bet you did. Do you own a chainsaw? No. But... You have a spare blade to the chainsaw. A space on your pegboard here for a chainsaw. But no chainsaw. 
Oh, I had one. Broke. Tossed it. When? I forget. Mad at her. Yeah, remember somebody grabbed the commissioner's hat? Well, he did it again in a parking garage downtown. Was it the same guy? They don't know. He got away. But at least he got his hat back this time. Well, he grabbed the commissioner's hat twice and dropped it. He, he didn't want it? What? I just solved the case. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you figured out who grabbed the hat? The other case. The, the big one, the torso murder, and the commissioner's hat. They're both connected. They are? So, well, they're gonna have to rehire me. They're gonna have to. What's going on? What's he doing here? He's here as my guest. We have an arrest warrant for Paul Harlan. It's all filled out and ready to roll. So, you finally found some DNA. You can finally identify the torso. Yes, yep. sir. So, what are you waiting for? We're waiting for you, Commissioner. Why are you smiling? You'll find out soon enough. Mr. Monk, why don't you tell us why we're all here? Paul Harley killed his girlfriend, Larissa Zarieva. He cut her up and dumped her body into the bay. He cleaned his house. He scrubbed, he dusted, he wiped away any trace of her until she disappeared. And then he must have found something, a piece of paper. It scared him half to death. Well, what was it? It was a receipt from the hair outlet on 24th Street. They make wigs from human hair. Harley was in trouble. He knew there was a wig out there somewhere made from Larissa's hair, a wig full of her DNA. He had to get it back before we tracked it down. So he broke into the hair outlet, killed the owner, and he rifled through the sales receipts until he found what he needed and then destroyed the evidence, or tried to. We got lucky. Some of the records survived the fire. We know who bought Larissa's hair. So who is it? It's your toupee, sir. A toupee. Your toupee. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, it's a rug. What, are you going to deny it? I don't wear a toupee. It was Paul Harley that was grabbing your hat. Except he wasn't after your hat. He was trying to grab your... Head doily. Ah, get off me! Get off me! <laughs> you said it was right under our noses. Lieutenant. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. Seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle.